Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is another exciting video. They're all exciting, I'm always saying that, but this is a nearly full face of Makeup by Lisa. I was very kindly gifted um, quite a few of these products. I will mention in the description box below which products were gifted, etc. It's not sponsored. You're getting my honest opinions on everything because that's how I work. So, if you want to see how I created this look using mostly products from Makeup by Lisa, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my face is primed and my eyebrows are done because I don't have those products from Makeup by Lisa. So the first product I'm going in with is the Flawless Mineral Foundation. I have it in the shade Nude. There are five shades on the website. Um, however, if you don't see your shade, all you need to do is pop Lisa a message and she can make you your custom shade. The tub it's in has got a lockable sifter, which I like. So I'm just going to tip a bit of that in the lid. Then using a Real Techniques Expert face brush, I'm just going to dip in to the powder foundation and we are just going to buff this into the skin. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just in case you're wondering what primer I'm going over. Yeah, it doesn't have a smell or anything. You'll have to excuse the state of my face. Um, I have really <laughs> not been very well unfortunately so with the uh, powder foundations you just kind of use a denser brush I use the denser foundation brushes anyway um, and just really buff it in uh, if you don't it can look really powdery so I'm just really buffing this in I'm only taking a little bit at a time just to make sure I don't go overboard. I'm finding this a little strange because usually I would do my base before my eyebrows so they might look a little bit odd today. This seems to be a really pretty decent colour match actually. So I'm just building up in layers rather than just going all in. Alright so I'm just going to go over here and see what it does for coverage. Okay, so one layer, it's not bad coverage. So I'm really working it into the skin here just to make sure that it's all kind of melted in. And then just where I want a bit extra coverage, I'm just going to build up here and see how that goes. Hmm, yeah, that is looking pretty nice. It's not the fullest coverage but it's not bad either. It doesn't look, oh, let me just blend that up there a bit better. It doesn't look powdery on the skin. It doesn't feel powdery. She feels quite soft. Yeah, it's definitely not a drying powder foundation at all. It's buffed in beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite liking the look of that actually. It feels really really nice on the skin. My skin feels really smooth. I'm just going to pop on some concealer and then we will continue. Popped a bit of uh, concealer on. It blended in lovely over the foundation and I just think it's got a really beautiful natural looking finish. So far I'm really impressed. Um, oh I did forget to mention the Flawless Mineral Foundation retails for £12. And it says on here there is at least eight grams in there and you really don't need much. I barely used anything. So next we have, I have two of the lip and cheek balms. So we're going to use one as a cream blush and one on the lips today. So I have the shades Water Lily and Plum. So I think Water Lily is going to be the shade going on my cheeks. Look at that. How beautiful. So I'm just going in with a Real Techniques face brush and I'm just going to kind of dab it in the pot, get some 
product on there. Well, I think I've got quite a lot on there. And uh, let's see how this goes. Oh. So it looks like it is a buildable, yes, definitely a buildable formula, which uh, I appreciate. It doesn't seem to be disturbing the foundation underneath. It is an absolutely gorgeous colour. Look at that. That's a real flushed, rosy cheeked look there. <laughs> yeah, I do like the, the texture of this balm. Really nice. So the one I've got on is Water Lily. The one that I will be popping on my lips in a bit is in the shade Plum. Go for a nice romantic Valentine's look today, seeing as we are nearing Valentine's Day. So the Lip and Cheek Balms come in five shades and they are nine pounds each. So moving on, we have the Finishing Powder. It's a matte finishing powder and this retails for 12 pounds. Also comes with a lockable sifter in the lid. And I'm just using a big Real Techniques is it RT201, big fluffy brush. So just pushing that in. Yeah, so it's definitely a translucent colour, it doesn't appear to be changing the colour of my foundation at all. Yeah, looking at all that, I've got a really nice natural finish there. I like it. So I'm just going to chuck on some eye primer and then we'll continue with the eyes. So I've primed my eyes using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. There's a lot of prime in that, um, but I just wanted to get a nice just even tone over my lids. And what I'm going to be going in with is this single here from Makeup by Lisa. This is in the shade Cindy. And I'm just using a little fluffy brush from Moda. Just doing a really nice simple look today. I know, who am I, right? Just a nice simple Valentine's look. So just taking that all the way over and into my crease and just buffing up and out just to really blend it in there. So just making sure it's really buffed out and really soft. This is such a beautiful colour. Please excuse the family in the background. I have no idea what the... So yeah, that's my boyfriend talking about being David Attenborough. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you can hear them, but... I can't... They're making me laugh. And then I'm just going to dust that brush off just to go over these edges and make sure they are completely blended out. Hmm. So I'm thinking actually looking at the eye look that pandemonium, a bit of that on the lid would look really nice. So this is a flake one. So I'm going to spray the brush, just using the same brush and then getting just a few little flakes and just placing those across the lid there. This is quite fiddly and fly away but Very effective, I think. So, Valentine's confetti eye look 
done. I'm just gonna nip off, pop on liner and lashes, and then come back to continue the face with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I changed my mind a little bit, and I did go in on the outer V with this beautiful shimmer here, just to deepen it a little bit. This is from the Island Sunset eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Lisa. But yeah, I think it just added that little bit of depth I needed. I used the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. The lashes are from Makeup by Lisa in the style Raven. You all know how much I love them. And uh, in my waterline and lower lash line, I have got the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Purple Rain. Oh, and the mascara is the Barry and that's how I roll. So the next product is this Makeup by Lisa Mineral Blush in the shade Coral. There are three shades to choose from and they are eight pounds each. Again, it comes in one of these little tubs with a lockable sifter. So I'm just taking a little bit on my brush. That's actually quite a lot, crikey. Um, so just taking a bit on my brush there and Ooh. Oh, I like this. So again, it's a buildable formula. But it's definitely building up. Oh, look at that. Nice flush to the cheeks there. So that was really easy to use. And I think that's an absolutely gorgeous colour. So next up, I'm going to be using my Makeup by Lisa highlighter in the shade Pink Sunshine. This one's so beautiful. It's a really kind of icy pink. Beautiful. So I'm just using a little BH Cosmetics. It's, I think it's meant to be an eye brush, but I like it for highlighter. And I forgot to say, my, <laughs> my blusher brush was a Real Techniques 302 blush crush or something I don't know I can't remember so a little bit of pink sunshine so I'm just going to be oh yeah you really don't need much of this these highlighters are very pigmented I love them you can get a really soft effect if you go in with a lot less than I do but I like to shine or as Anki would say I like to be seen from space and with the amount I put on I'm pretty sure they could see me from space oh just look at that shine let me add a little bit more and then just blending the highlighter there into the blush just to work them together a little bit i can highly recommend these highlighters i love them so just using the same highlighter i'm going to use that to oh look at that for my inner corner <laughs> how beautiful is that and open under just using it up on the brow bone as well brow bone highlight yes so the highlighters come in three shades i have two of them and i love them they retail for eight pounds each and i love them anyways <laughs> So for my lips, I'm going to be using the Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Plum. And do I want to use a brush? Do I? Should we use a brush? No, I'm just going to use my finger. So I'm just dipping my finger in there. And then I'm just going to dab that. Yeah, I think that really goes. I really, that's a beautiful colour. I'm looking forward to using that as a blush. Really looking forward to using that as a blush. So yes, here we are with a almost full face of Makeup by Lisa. Um, 
I'm really liking it. I'm feeling very romantic, soft, in the mood for romance, Valentine's. I do have a discount code with Makeup by Lisa. It's just Steph Loves Makeup 20. Um, I will pop it in the description box below. It will save you 20%. It's not affiliated or anything like that. I don't gain anything from it, but it gives you a discount. And I will also link the Makeup by Lisa website in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. Okay, so that brings us to an end and the end of another Valentine's look. What do you think? let me know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. Um, you will mainly find colorful makeup and indie brands featured on my channel because that's where my heart lies. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day or a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.